with our examples on you know linear motion sort problems on linear motion question 19 here says two points on a velocity time graph have coordinates 5 10 20 20 you can see what i mean by what i'm saying five seconds 10 meter per second is the first point then so on and on like that you now see i've drawn here the coordinates as you can see the coordinates are drawn here like this so the question says we should find the acceleration acceleration between these two points the acceleration between these two points is changing velocity which is the vertical change in y or change in velocity over what change in horizontal which is what change in time change in vertical over change in time of change in uh, 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 horizontal so we do delta y over delta x to get our gradient or delta v. Let's just make it delta v over delta t. Let me try and make that straight. Let me try and make that straight. So, and to show that it's not part of our graph, let me make it broken. So we do delta v over delta t to get our acceleration because acceleration is change in velocity with respect to time or change in velocity per unit time so i'm going to do v2 minus v1 that's 20 minus 10 <coughs> and do t2 minus t1 that's also 20 minus 5 5 seconds is the initial time and the final time is 20 seconds so that will give me 10 meter per second over 15 seconds and that gives me my acceleration so take note of that. Question 20 says a motor vehicle. A motor vehicle is brought to rest from a speed of 15 meters per second in 20 seconds. So initial velocity of the motor vehicle is what? The initial velocity of the motor vehicle is 15 meters per second. Brought to rest. Rest means at the end of the day, its velocity became zero. So its final velocity will be what? Zero. That's what rest means in 20 seconds the time taken to reduce its velocity from 15 to zero is what 20 seconds the question says calculate its acceleration acceleration will be change in velocity over time taken or change in velocity per unit time that's final minus initial over time i hope you can see that the final velocity is zero the initial is 15 so minus 15 over 20 this is to show you that the acceleration is negative and the change in velocity was also negative that the velocity reduced so the acceleration will be negative 21 a particle moving in a straight line with uniform deceleration has a velocity of 40 meters per second at p 20 meter 40 meters per second at p 20 meters per second 40 meters per second at p 20 meters per second at q and what zero meter per second at r the question says you know rest means it comes to rest at point r means at point r its velocity will be zero meter per second the question says calculate the distance pq time taken to cover pq and time taken to cover pr that's a simple question so let's go between q and r between q and r the object is set to travel 50 meters the the, the the distance qr is what 50 meters meaning that between q and r it's traveled a distance of 50 meters now you know the velocity at q you know the velocity at r and you know the distance you can use this to get the acceleration and whatever you get as the acceleration for this part qr will also be the acceleration for this part pq because the acceleration was constant or the deceleration was constant so to speak so we go ahead and between q and r u is 20 v is 0 a is unknown s is 50 between q and r u is what 20 initial velocity v is what 0 final velocity u is 20 then s which is the distance is what 50 meters and a is unknown so we can use that part of the motion 
to get the deceleration and what do we get using v squared is u squared plus 2s because that's the formula that connects u v a and s <clears throat> using v squared is u squared plus 2s zero squared will be 20 squared plus 2a times what 50 that gives you that gives you what zero is 400 plus 100a and that gives minus 100a is 400 so a is 400 over minus 100 a is minus 4 meters per second squared so since the acceleration is uniform or since the deceleration is uniform it means that between p and q also deceleration was minus 4 meter per second square i hope you are getting that now we want the distance pq so we know the acceleration or deceleration we don't know s we know the initial velocity at p to be 40 final velocity at q or velocity at q to be 20. so using v squared is u squared plus 2s what do we get 20 squared is 40 squared you understand plus 2 times minus 4 times s that will give us the distance between p and q take note at p velocity was 40 at q <clears throat> velocity was what 20 meters per second so using v squared is u squared plus 2s we'll be able to get the distance between p and q so this gives us 400 is 1600 minus 8s and if you bring minus 8s to the right it will become plus 8s so 8s is 1600 take plus 400 to the sorry you bring minus 8s to the left it will become plus 8s then take 400 to the right it will become minus 400 that gives 1600 minus 400 and s is simplified to get 150 meters the question says also in roman Rat 2 that we should find the time pq find time taken to cover pq that's simple between p and q initial velocity is 40 velocity at q which is the final velocity for that stage of the motion is 20 a is minus 4 using v is u plus 80 we get our time as five seconds i believe in this mathematical simplifications because i'm sure it won't give you any problem question three says time pr time to travel from p to r so using for qr okay we've gotten time okay okay let's find the time taken to travel from q to r at q velocity is what 20 so u is 20 at r velocity is zero acceleration is constant that's minus four so using v is equal to u plus 80 between q and r v zero will be 20 plus minus 4 times t that gives us 20 minus 40 bring minus 40 to the left it will become plus 40 is 25 seconds five seconds so the total time pr is what 10 seconds is that clear also if you don't want to maybe do this addition you can find the velocity to travel from p to r sorry you can find the time taken to travel from p to r using the information you have at p velocity was 40 at r velocity was zero and the acceleration between those two points p and r is what minus four so at p velocity is 40 at r velocity is what zero and you know that the what's it called acceleration is constant minus four so go ahead and do v is u plus 80 you get 10 seconds straight for that part number 22 says in the diagram above calculate the acceleration of the body in the section op of the graph this is a simple question it says the total distance traveled by the body is 195 meters we should calculate the acceleration in a so we want this part we want the acceleration in this part that's a simple question now in this question notice that the total distance traveled is the area under the graph the total distance traveled the distance traveled the total distance traveled is the total area under the trapezium under the trapezoidal graph 
Exactly. So one of the things that you can do here now is to write that area is half a plus b times h. h is the velocity here. h is the same as the you know velocity attained in the first stage of the motion. So your area is 195. Your a is this part, 5. Your b is this whole part down here. Your b is this whole part down here. Let me try and make my line straight. Your b is this whole part down here. Now, those are the two parallel sides of the trapezium, 5 and 21. So, if you know this place as 21, you know this base as 21, you know this top as 5. That's your a and b. Half times 5 plus 21 times vertical height will give you what? 195. So that means half times 26 times h is 195. 13h, 2 year 1, 2 year 13. That gives you what? 13h is equal to 195. h is what? 15 meters per second. That means in stage A of the motion. That means that in this stage of the motion, okay, let me use purple for that. In this stage of the motion, in the first stage of the motion, the final velocity attained there was what? 15 meters per second. And we know that we know that the body started its motion from rest in stage A. It took 6 seconds to accelerate to 15 meters per second. So that means we know our V, 15 meters per second. We know our what? We know our T, which is the time, 6 seconds. And we know what? We know the initial velocity. So let's go ahead and use that. In stage A of the motion, in stage A of the motion, initial velocity is 0. Final velocity attained is 15. Time taken is 6 seconds. So using V is U plus A T. 15 is 0 plus 8 times 6. That gives you what? 6A is 15. And the acceleration in that part will be 15 over 6, 2.5 meter per second squared. Let me give you a few questions as your classwork for these few examples we have treated together. <clears throat> so write down the questions now. Number one. Number one. Let me go to the end here and put the questions down. Question one. Are you ready? Two points on a velocity time graph. Number one. Two points on a velocity time graph. Two points on a velocity time graph. Half coordinate. Two points on a velocity time graph. Half coordinate. 10, 30 meters per second. And 25, 25, 65 meters per second. Are you ready? Calculate the main acceleration between the two points. That's question one. Question two. A motor vehicle is brought to rest. A motor vehicle is brought to rest. A motor vehicle is brought to rest from a speed of 60 meters per second. A motor vehicle is brought to rest from a speed of what? 60 meters per second. I'm even answering the question for you now, right now. In, in 12 seconds, a motor vehicle is brought to rest from a speed of 60 meters per second in what? 12 seconds. Calculate the retardation. Calculate the retardation. So you are looking for A. Question 3 now. Question 3 now. <clears throat> a particle moving in a straight line. A particle moving in a straight line with uniform deceleration has a velocity of 80 meters per second. Has a velocity of 80 meters per second at A. Has a velocity of 80 meters per second at a point A. 40 meters per second at a point B. 
and comes to rest and comes to rest at a point C and comes to rest at a point C and comes to rest at a point C full stop and comes to rest at a point C where BC where BC where BC where BC is equal to 100 meters calculate Roman 1 1 the distance AB calculate the distance AB time taken to cover AB time taken to cover AB then Roman 1 3 total time to cover AC total time to cover AC take that as question 3 now question 4 I'll draw a velocity time graph for question 4 30 Question 4. The diagram above represents the velocity time graph of a body in motion. The diagram above represents the velocity time graph of a body in motion. The total distance traveled by the body. The total distance traveled by the body is 240 meters. Full stop. Calculate the acceleration of the body in section. Calculate the acceleration of the body in section OM. So make that your classwork. <laughs>